I don't suppose you'd like to get together later, would you? Yeah, we'd love to. Why don't we meet at your place? Our place? Sure, it's better than meeting at the dorms. Yeah, what's your address? Uh, we don't have an address. <laughs> what, what I mean, our street numbers are being changed today, and we won't know our new address until we get home. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of Life is Lyrical. This is Kev, loving, living life as always. I got five joints with Martin on it before he really blew up like that that you may not have seen or heard before. Let me know in the comments how you feel about it. So let's check it out, man. All right, so starting out, we have Hammer, Slammer, and Slade. This is a show that came out in 1990, which was a spinoff of I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. And if you don't know about I'm Gonna Get You Sucker, you got homework, trust me, you'll love it, you're welcome, all that. And Martin replicated the role of Kadeem Hardison, the classic role of Kadeem Hardison. Here's a clip right here, courtesy of Man Focus Channel. Check it out. And coming in at number four, we got a show called What's Happening Now, which was actually Martin's first role on television. Look at the young baby face, Mark, the baby face assassin. What's Happening Now came out in 1985 and was a spinoff from the show What's Happening that came out in 1976, the classic What's Happening. Check out this clip. I don't suppose you'd like to get together later, would you? Yeah, we'd love to. Why don't we meet at your place? Our place? Sure, it's better than meeting at the dorms. Yeah, what's your address? Uh, we don't have an address. <laughs> what, I, what I mean, our street numbers are being changed today, and we won't know our new address <laughs> until we get home. Well, then we'll give you our phone number, and you can give us a call when you find out. Great. Bye. <laughs> we'll see you later. All right. And we can't wait to see your apartment. <laughs> yeah, you're not the only one. <laughs> Maurice, are you crazy? We are high school students and we live at home. Man, if I told them that, they wouldn't be our dates. Or They'd be our babysitters. At number three is a Spike Lee joint, Do the Right Thing, which was really the classic that bridged hip hop and film together, in my opinion. Do the Right Thing was actually Martin's first major film appearance. And even if you like me, who was old enough to have been young when it first came out, you probably wouldn't have noticed Martin because he wasn't major back then. At number two, we got a 1991 film, Talking Dirty After Dark, which was Martin's first film as the lead character. And regardless of how old you are, don't feel bad if you haven't seen that because it was one of those DOA films that had a limited release. It was only available in limited amount of theaters. Then the critics panicked. Whatever, man, it was a classic to me. I saw it actually like 10 years after it came out. It was an underground classic, man. If you haven't had a chance, check out Talking Dirty After Dark. This is actually the trailer for it right here. Check it out. It's Saturday night at Dookie's Comedy Club and you're in the half. Baby, 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 you are the man. Terry's trying to make it as a comedian. You don't get rich just by working hard, man. Mm. You got to be political, you know what I'm saying? You know the one big difference between me and your husband, right? Dookie wants to make Aretha. Whoa, 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 whoa. Any way he can. What about Big? Remember Big? I don't care. I want some of that diva thing, baby. Give me some of that diva thing. Give me Jackie can get anyone. Let me tell you something, honey. Yo, it need daily exercise and nightly, too. If you want this cherry, come and get it. Except the one he loves. <laughs> And Aretha's jealous man. Oh, your woman? She's right here with me. She's getting my cookies. And in a minute, she's gonna get my ding dong. Now, why you wanna do that? Piss me off. Is on the loose.
jealous. Terry, come here. Oh, I like being jealous. They're talking it on stage. Come on, mama. And doing it backstage. Oh, ain't this a bitch in my favorite freezer with my wife? You don't see no shit like this on cable. Talking dirty after dark. But I keep telling you that bar is gonna be big one day yet. And last but not least, coming in at number one is Talking Ish. Martin Lawrence live Talking Ish. And listen, man. If you haven't heard this, this is a classic. I left a link at the bottom. A lot of the jokes that he used from You So Crazy came from this original skit. It was originally released on tape in 1993. A lot of people may not have heard it, but it was a classic. And a lot of the jokes, like I said, not all of them, but about two or three at least of the jokes that he used on Live Talking Ish, maybe even more, he actually repeated on You So Crazy his live performance that went to the movie so i'm telling you man it's a classic you definitely gotta check it out i left a link at the bottom i want to thank you guys again for checking out life is lyrical be on the lookout for that part two i'm gonna drop it very soon i got five more jewels for you of martin lawrence the king you know what i'm saying we like to give give our kings they flowers here want to thank y'all please make sure you click on that like please make sure you subscribe and man please make sure you loving living life all right this is kev life is lyrical stay blessed stay peaceful